All right, last night happened. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. But Mike Tyson was 58 years old, and he showed every bit of age out there. Going into the fight, I literally feared that Mike Tyson would be touching the canvas in the wrong way. He's 58. It don't matter who was in front of him. But let alone the dude in front of him is 27. 31-year age gap. So we're going to watch a little bit of the ringside highlights here. And I'm going to give a, uh, my opinion, my thoughts on this whole situation. Because I got a lot to say. Okay? This is pretty much the fight right here. I don't know why six seconds is already played. I, okay, here we go. Let's see. This is pretty much all you guys missed if you guys didn't watch the fight, by the way. It, it was low-key a snooze fest. Oh. I mean, just look at him. He can't, he can't move the same. Can you guys please just just look at Mike's face right here? He literally is old enough to be Jake's father, grandfather, uncle. I mean, anybody can be uncle, but father, grandfather. Like he is, the age is aging right there. Okay, this is this is what pisses me off about this whole thing. We sat there and waited about a year and some change for Jake Paul. To go eight rounds with a 58-year-old. Now, if you want to say a scripted, say that. But if you want to say that Jake was going to dominate the guy and knock him out and all that, say that too. But the fact of the matter is, he went eight rounds. It don't matter who, if it's Mike Tyson with an elder. And you celebrating that? In the same sense, if you knock out a 58-year-old, you'd be celebrating that? This was a lose-lose for Jake. You go eight rounds with a uh, uh, 10% of Mike Tyson in your prime. But then if you would have knocked him out, oh, man, you knocked out an elder. If you would have got knocked out, you got knocked out by a six-year-old. You see how this plays out for Jake? But the bag was magnificently large. They said some something of along the lines that Jake... Earned upward of forty million. Mike Tyson earned about twenty million. Give me that amount of money, I'd do a sparring match too. Uh, it was pretty much a big sparring match, in my opinion. There was moments where I literally looked at that. I said, "Damn," I said, "Jake could put him to sleep right now." Mike Tyson's legs was not moving the way they used to move. I'm just glad that he didn't get knocked out. Mike sat there and took some punches, for sure, for sure. But he shouldn't have been out there. The reason being. You have Mike Tyson after looking like this. And Mother F has put money on him. In my group chat, people was betting on Mike Tyson. I said, don't bet on the name, brother. Bet on the entertainment game. You dig what I'm saying? You think that Mike Tyson was going to knock out Jake. Then You should have put all your money in that first round. That was the best chance. Came out, legs fresh, ready to go. Once it got to second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It's age, but it kicks in. And this is why I hope I don't see Floyd Mayweather fighting at this age. And correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this fight went on Mike Tyson's official record because it went to the scorecards. Usually in an exhibition, they don't have scorecards. But it went to the scorecards in the unanimous decision. So if this is on Mike Tyson's official record, which I think it is, it's bad because the last time you fought in 2005, you got TKO'd. Then you came back 19 years later, and then you lose in a fight that he had no business being in. But you know what? On the other end, I get it. I get it. It's pride. You know? It's pride. It's a payday. Can't, can't miss out on a payday. You do what I'm saying? They sold the fight. I will say that. They did a good job in selling the fight. I just thought that it was going to be more of a, well, what, what were they saying? Jake said it's personal now. It didn't look personal out there. Um... Tyson was landing some punches early. I said, wait a minute. Hold on, Tyson. I get it. But they're also a part of me that was like, huh, bigger ring. 
14 ounce glass, 14 ounce gloves. It's in the contracts. Don't knock Mike out. Mike, don't knock Jake out. Kind of remind me of the Roy Jones Jr. versus Mike Tyson exhibition fight, too. I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't know. But this is the interview of Mike Tyson after the fight in the ring. Let's take a look. You know, 58, a lot of people thought you shouldn't be here. A lot of people thought you'd be done and dusted in the first round. Do you feel like you proved the world wrong, that you could at least go eight rounds with a younger man? I didn't prove nothing to anybody, only to myself. I, I'm not one of those guys that look to plead the world. I'm just happy with what I can do. You know, 58... I'm actually glad he said that, because you got to think this. If I'm 58 and I go out there in front of millions and millions and millions of people and I box a guy in his prime, right, that's... Genetically, scientifically, more athletic than me. I'm in better shape than me. I have nothing to prove to anybody, especially Mike Tyson. Like, I've never once said Mike Tyson has anything to prove, first and foremost. He's one of the greatest. Like, he's pound for pound one of the greatest fighters to ever touch the ring, right? But I, I also was thinking to myself, I said, huh, what if Mike's going out there just to see what he got left in the tank in terms of this will be the last time he ever gets a grace of ring? You know what I mean? And at 58, go, go the distance with someone in a in a prime at 27, it's a victory for Mike. And you get 20 million on that? She. You telling me y'all wouldn't do that at 58 if you had the opportunity? I'll tell you this though. Me at 28, I ain't getting there with Mike at 58 because I don't box. <laughs> I wasn't hit away from the straight graveyard, six feet. You know what I mean? Also put this into perspective. If Mike Tyson was 27 and Jake Paul was 58. I can guarantee you Jake Paul would not get out of the first round halfway through. He wouldn't even get a minute in. That's how you have to look at this. Flip it, flip flop it, switch shoes for a little bit. Imagine Mike at 27 and Jake Paul at 58. Right? Now Jake Paul at 27, Mike at 58, and Jake goes the distance. Shows you the the the, the gap. The gap in greatness that Mike Tyson has. Okay, food for thought. Stephen A. Smith had this to say. Love Mike Tyson, always have, always will. But 58 to 58, true. Plus the leg just wasn't there. Old is old. Thank God he didn't get knocked out. I do thank God because I was scared for my life watching that, shaking in my boots. Now it's time for Jake Paul to get in the ring with the top 10 fighter or hell, a champion. No more ball players, facts, strikers in MMA, strikers from MMA, yes, or old men, yes. It's time for Jake to get into a real fight. He's good enough to make it happen. This is what I disagree with, Stephen A. You said it's time for Jake to get in the ring with a top 10 fighter. Who? At what weight class? Because uh, these top 10 fighters ain't nothing to play with. If he fought a Canelo, Jesus is Lord, amen. Let's not forget that comment below. Top 10 fighter, Tommy Fury ain't even top 50. He lost to Tommy Fury. He needs to get his get back with Tommy Fury before he climbs his ranks up to a top 10 fighter. I will say this, though. Strategically and business-wise, fighting a top 10 fighter right here in the stature in his career would be monumental. Win or lose. Big payday. Just as big as a Mike Tyson fight, if not bigger. Because let's say he actually gets a, a Canelo or somebody of that elk. Do you understand the draw? Because the dude that he's fighting that's top 10 is active. And it's going to want to take Jake's head off. There's going to be fans out there that are going to want to see Jake get his head taken off. There's going to be fans out there that want to see Jake win. Right? Because it ain't no exhibition. It ain't no, it ain't, it ain't going to be Netflix streamed and all of that. I mean, it could be, right? It could be. Don't, don't get me wrong. But it, it, it's, it's not going to be a money grab. It's going to be a fight. Because them top 10 fighters is like, I put my life on the line for this since I've been a kid. And you coming on here with entertainment and stuff, yeah, it's problems. But then what if Jake go out there and knock somebody up? No, I will say that. On the contrary, if he do fight the top 10 and he, he do got knockout power, we can't sleep on that. If Jake go out there and knock somebody out in that top 10 just off the rip, just based on the draw, the box office draw that he is, which he is, whew, could you imagine him knocking somebody out like a Canelo? Oh my gosh. Not say I don't think I don't think it'll happen. But could you just imagine everybody has a puncher's chance when you get in that ring? If he knocked Canelo out, someone of that elk. Oh my gosh. Y'all might not want to be on social media because it's 
Jake Paul is going to literally own social media for the next half of the year, whenever the, if that fight happens. I'm excited to see what's next for Jake. I'm ecstatic that Mike Tyson walked out there, didn't get knocked out. At the end of the day, it was a win-win for both parties in terms of monetarily. They got paid, and they set their families up, and they set their futures up um, pretty lucratively. Now, I know Mike Tyson has been out the game for a little while, so this $20 million, um, maybe he needed this payday. You know what I'm saying? We really don't know the ins and outs of it. Maybe he really, really, really needed it. So he sold the fight and did a good job at it, knowing that this is the last time he's going to be in that ring. Because at the end, he was like, you know, you got, uh, at the end, they said, Mike Tyson might want Logan next. I, I don't want to see Logan Paul versus, versus Mike Tyson, but I don't. Because Logan's like, I'll kill you, Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be the same WWE contract. It's going to be the same thing when Floyd almost slept you, Logan. Actually, he put you to sleep and caught you. He said, hold on, wait, wait. That ain't a part of the contract. We got to go the distance, get the fans, you know what I'm saying, get the fans what they want to see. Money's worth. And, and Floyd wasn't even a heavyweight. You know what I mean? So don't don't come at Mike Tyson. Why don't, Logan, why don't you go fight like Tyson Fury or somebody? Be a little different story. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. All in all, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I gave it about a C minus. About a C minus for the for the build up, the lead up to the actual fight. I give it like a C minus, man. We have to thank you guys. Peace.